Proud moment for the country. India successfully launches GSLV D5 indigenous cryogenic engine, becomes the sixth nation after US, France, Russia, Japan and China to develop cryogenic technology. President Pranam Mukherjee, Vice President Mohammad Hamid Ansari and Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh congratulate the ISRO scientists on the successful launch of GSLV D5, term it as a historic feat. Aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya enters into the Indian waters along with INS Virat. India now has two aircraft carriers guarding its maritime boundaries. Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh Lord's noted Malayalam daily Matrabhumi services to the nation says print media retains a special relevance as it could be more credible and better informed. BJP leader Narendra Modi promises tax reforms, tax reforms if his party comes to power after Lok Sabha polls, asserts that development has become the agenda of the upcoming general elections. Ahmadmi Party gears up for Lok Sabha polls, decides to field candidates in large numbers in forthcoming polls, including all constituencies in Delhi and Haryana, launches a mega membership drive. Former Attorney General Soli Saurabh G says retired Justice A.K. Gangli is likely to resign as the chairman of the West Bengal Human Rights Commission once the presidential reference under Article 143 is formalized. NCP Chief Sharad Pawar rules out contesting the coming Lok Sabha elections set to enter Parliament through the Rajya Sabha. Party says its alliance with the Congress is only for Maharashtra. Finance Minister P. Chidambaram to meet with Chief Commissioners handling direct and indirect taxes in New Delhi today to take stock of tax collection and revenue scenario. Bhutanese King Jigme Kesa, Namgyel Wangchung and Queen Jetsun Pema to arrive in the national capital today. They will be the first guests in two decades to be housed in the premium Dwarka suite of Rashtrapati Bhavan. Three-day-long Pravasi Bharatiya Divas to begin in New Delhi tomorrow. Overseas Indian Affairs Minister Vaila Ravi to address media today to inform about the event. Supreme Court to hear a case on a petition filed by parents of 16th December Delhi gangway victim Nirbhaya challenging the Juvenile Justice Act. Parents demand juvenile convict be tried as an adult as his crime was the most heinous of all. Assam government favours CBI probing to the killing of nine persons at Dimapur. Assam Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi speaks to his Nagaland counterpart on the issue. The employees of Kingfisher Airlines who have not been paid salaries for the past 17 months likely to launch an indefinite hunger strike from today onwards. They are demanding stringent action against the defaulting company. Eminent Malayalam playback singer K.P. Uday Bhanu, who rendered scores of popular songs with emotional depth, died last night. Uday Bhanu began his career with All India Radio. Bangladesh votes for general elections amid opposition protests and violence, polling only in 147 of 300 constituencies due to boycott by BNP and its allies. Twenty people killed in suicide blasts in the Iraqi capital of Baghdad. Fighting also rages on between Al-Qaeda-linked militants and government forces in Fallujah town. In South Sudan, an army general has been killed in fighting outside the rebel-held town of Bor. Fighting also stalls peace talks being held in Ethiopia between the warring factions. Top seeds, Stanislas Wawrinka lifts his second Chennai Open tennis trophy. 
the Swiss star records a convincing win over Frenchman Edward Roger Vasily. Thick blanket of fog engulfs North India, including the national capital. Poor visibility disrupts air, rail and road traffic. Or 30 trains delayed in Delhi, flight operations also go haywire.